So in this section, we're going to look at paraphrasing. So paraphrasing is when you explain someone's writing, work or ideas in your own words. So there's no need to use double quotation marks, but you must still include a citation. So you don't need to use double quotation marks because you're not using the word exactly, but you are still using someone's ideas, so you still include a citation. We're going on to say here, paraphrasing is more complex than changing the occasional word. You must be able to convey the author's original meaning while summarising or simplifying their writing. And these points about summarising or simplifying are really important. You're not trying to reword what they said word by word so that what so the, 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 the paraphrase you've got is the same length as the quote. You're looking to reword, to, to use what they've said, to put it into your own language and to make it as part of your own argument. So very similar to quotes, there are two, two main ways of uh, referencing paraphrasing. So in this instance here, we are going to reference the author as part of the writing. So we're saying plasma, then we have the citation, the same as before, it's exactly the same as before. But then we've reworded what they've said, we've put it into our own language, kind of simplifying it. I've taken out some of the technical terms I wasn't as familiar with because it isn't my language and I've produced it here as a sentence to kind of summarise their argument. And this is the second way of presenting a paraphrase. This is when you put the author in the citation at the end of the sentence. So at the end of this sentence we've got Palasma 2012-34. So there is a kind of a word of caution with, with doing it this way. Is if you paraphrase, and if you put the quotation at the end, it isn't always that clear what elements of that sentence are your own and are plasmas. Because often with paraphrasing, you might use someone's ideas and then go on to develop it or give your own thoughts. But when you put the citation at the very end like this, it isn't very clear um, what part of that sentence is your own ideas and what part is plasmas. If you kind of use the author in the sentence, it is then possible kind of using punctuation such as commas or by kind of introducing yourself into the sentence, it's very easy to show where plasmas ideas finish and where your ideas start. But if you always put the citation at the end of the sentence, it can be quite tricky for someone reading your sentence to kind of understand what what part of that is your own or if or if none of it is.